Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, 2H Combo. I haven't really made a video for quite some time because I was gonna move to Mexico but because of coronavirus I had to stay put. So I'm in Georgia right now and I don't think I'm gonna go to Mexico anytime soon because of the current situation. So I just wanna make an update and also I want to show you what I have done here recently. I have planted another persimmon tree. So let's take a look. So this one I bought from a store, grocery market actually here in town and it already has a few flowers that already became fruits but from my experience I don't know if they're gonna stay because you know over time they fall off some of them at least maybe 10-20% of the fruits that's just the way it is. I used to have three trees in California and also I had one in Florida and now here in Georgia I have this one I just planted about two weeks ago. Now the soil over here is really clay so it's really good for the tree because if you're not familiar with the soil type, clay tends to be better in terms of holding nutrients for the tree. Versus Florida sandy soil, it's not going to do much for the plants because all the nutrients are washed off or just go right through. And also your soil dries up really easily versus over here I guess maybe you cannot tell but the dirt is really moist we just had a rain about two three days ago so technically I don't need to water it at all so we'll see I'm sure it'll do well and I'm still debating if I should remove those fruits because for the first year it's a good idea to remove all the fruits so that the tree has more um, energy put into growing the trunk instead of producing fruits so basically you had to sacrifice the first year in order to get a better yield the following years. So I'm not sure yet. So I'm going to leave them like this for now. Although the better I do, the, the sooner I do, the better it is. There's some bugs. I don't know what that is. Um, if you remember my video that I made in Florida, over there we had Japanese beetles that ate the leaves. So over here it doesn't look like to be a problem. Another thing that I want to say, planting a tree is like an investment you know I spent uh, $26 for this tree and I'm sure you know in many years I will get my money back and more because uh, from my experience in California each tree produce about uh, 50 to 100 pounds a year so just think of it a dollar a pound you get your money back in a year so that's all uh thank you for watching i also 
I will also make some videos on investment. This is probably a good time to show people that you know you cannot really rely on your job alone. You need to have some side investment in a situation like this. Some people are losing their job, so it's good to have a side investment that you can get some money from so that even though you don't have work you can survive for a little bit longer so mainly it's going to be about investment in the stock market so stay tuned for next videos to come thank you for watching and see you in the next one bye bye